Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. This is part 17th of Python tutorial course using Jupyter Notebook. In this tutorial, how to search records from a database in Python. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before watching this tutorial, I sincerely recommend please watch my previous Python tutorial courses. You will get those links at the end of this video tutorial. Now let's continue the today's tutorial how to search records from MySQL database which is PHP MyAdmin using Python. The table name I am using student table which contains some data. Right now this table contains 17 records and this table I have created in this new DB database. So let's write the code to search records from this table using Python. I am using Jupyter Notebook to write the Python code. Let's create a new notebook python3 give the proper name for this notebook search search records click rename now when we are dealing with a particular database first we require the packages of that database so let's install that package pip install my sql client click run and here the package is installed successfully below that we got a note you may need to restart the kernel to use updated packages let's do that one kernel restart click restart once i restart this kernel now let's write the coding part import my sql m is capital y is small sql is capital and db is small once i import this package the next i'm declaring a variable to connect my database db is a variable and my sql db dot connect method and this connect method takes four parameters the first one is a local host which is a host name the second parameter is a root, the username of my database and the third one is a password. I don't have any password to log into my database. So I'm leaving blank here and the last one is a database name. Our database name is new db database. Let's add that one new db. So once I got the connection string now the next step, I am implementing the cursor method to execute the SQL statements. So execute a cursor is a variable db.cursor method. Then I am declaring a variable SQL query is equals to select start from table name is the table name is a student table let's copy this one and paste here where where I want to search records using the student name so I'm adding the column name of the student so which is the st name is equals to single quotes double quotes plus plus now between this plus plus I'm adding the variable here let's import the widget import IPY widgets as widget and then and student name is equals to input input is a text box control enter student name and this variable student name paste between this plus plus after that let's execute this statement using this execute cursor dot execute SQL query Then, once the records are found, I want to display the 
the student details here I'm declaring the results is a variable execute cursor dot fetch all method then I'm displaying the records using for loop for output um, student details let's give the student details in results this R is capital here column and notice when I add column here the cursor is blinking with a, some indent the gap here so type from here only otherwise you will get an error so type where the cursor is blinking print small letters small letters print we are getting the results from this variable print student details that's it let's execute click run here we got a prompt with the enter student name let's enter charan click see here we got the charan details one charan charan at gmail.com the student ID is one charan charan at gmail.com let's search bunny run bunny enter see here we got the bunny student ID is 13 bunny bunny at bun at gmail.com this one that's it